Decapitation Week in Frankistan. Welcome to DBL News, a lovely propaganda. My name is JM Corda. If you enjoy the content, please like, comment and share the video. France is a Muslim country. It's official. Huh? It's said by the French ambassador to Sweden. And he said that just after the decapitation of a French teacher. If you don't know yet the story, I will give you a little summary. It started five years ago with Charlie Hebdo attack. This on some newspaper who made a parody of the Muslim God and Muslim didn't like it, of course, so they came to the newspaper building and they killed everyone. A few years later, the French government asked the teacher to speak about this story and to show to the kids some parody of the Muslim God. Trouble is, French schools are full of Muslims. The Muslim population, especially at the young age in France, is, is huge. We're speaking about classroom where you got like 50 to 70% of Muslims in the class. So imagine this guy, the teacher, with his big picture of uh, the Muslim God, something super provocative, sexual about the Muslim God. And the Muslim students, of course, were shocked. They talked to the parents. The parents have been talking to the Muslim community and to the guy who will become the killer of the teacher. So one Muslim guy, a Chechen, didn't like the situation at all. He came to the school with a huge knife. He waits, speak to the kids, say, hey kids, we want some money. Really, he offered like 300 euro to a kid who was like waiting with him and showing, oh, that's my teacher. That's the one who showed the picture. And the Muslim guy is like, okay. He cut the head off of the teacher, threw it in the street like a bowling ball, and then run away with his gun because he also had a gun and get shot to death by police. But it's not over. I told you it's decapitation week in Frankistan, in Nice. Nice is a south city of France. A woman decapitated in a church. So imagine like she's just praying in a church and she was killed as well as two other people. So three people were killed. And if you need a detail about the reason of the murder, it's quite easy. The guy just shouted Allah Akbar several times before to kill his victims. But don't worry guys, because the president Emmanuel Macron uh, is in charge. And he said, on country has been attacked. I would like to express the support of France toward the Catholic community. Wow. Two decapitation in the same week and the guy is still speaking. Yeah, why not? During this time in Poland, yeah, let's calm down, let's breathe, okay? The mayor of the city of Bialystok decided to put a sunflower field in the middle of the city because he says it's nice to look and it helps the ecosystem. So fucking sweet. I love it. Let's keep breathing with Estonia, a digital republic. Maybe you know about that, but in Estonia, most of the administrative action can be done on computer. You don't need to wait in a line in administration. No, everything from internet. Citizens from Estonia can vote online. They just have to log with a digital ID. And voting online is just the start. Estonia offers the most comprehensive governmental online service in the world. And I just love that. I love efficiency. Not only from business, I expect it from government. A government is just like a huge business. During this time, France become dysfunctional again and reimpose the lockdown. And speaking about the COVID, I had it. Okay, I was infected and all my friends, like almost all the people I know around me were infected too. So what? It's just a strange flu. I lost the sense of smell for two weeks. Okay, that's not usual, but it's back. And I didn't even had to stop my business, to, to stop to work for a single day. Like for two days, I was shitty. I was low energy, but, but the way it's managed to lock down everyone at home to stop the economical activity of so many countries, it's very extreme. People are already suffering a lot. Just to give you some story in France, they closed the restaurants. After that, they let them open again under condition. And the condition was to buy some special security equipment. And they did it. So the owner of the restaurants, who was already losing money, was having extra charges, like a lot of money spent for this new equipment. And then when they got it, the government said, no, finally, you close again. Of course, they go crazy. Sad topic. So let's speak again about East Europe. High-speed rail tunnel linking Finland and Estonia last night. Finland is a very sweet country under the Baltic Sea. So now we got a big, fast train to link the both countries. 
Look at that, it will connect the Finnish capital Helsinki with the Estonian capital Tallinn, cutting a three hours ferry by just 20 minutes by train. So the two cities will be like very close neighbors. I was eating the best caviar and salmon of my life in Finland, lovely country with great population. And while I'm eating my caviar in my luxury flat, a mother gets killed in France again. The mother is killed for protecting her kid from a cigarette story. This is classical story in France. You got this extra European population in the country and a lot of them were speaking about like 20 million of them. In the big cities, in the street, they are already in a bigger quantity than the white people. Yeah. So they walk around very confident, very aggressive, and when they decide to talk to a woman, they will ask for her phone number in order to rape her, kill her. That's the protocol. And when they talk to a man, they ask for a cigarette. They are like, do you have a smoke? Yeah, good. Now, do you have a phone? Uh -huh. Do you have money? They take everything. And at the point where the guy starts to say no, boom. They are always in groups. They always target lonely people or people in this situation like a kid and his mother. And here the mother tries to protect the kid. And they are like animals, you know? They don't have limits. They are not like, oh, it's mother, like, don't touch that. No, 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 no. They stab her to death. I mean, seriously. Stabbed to death. The mother received a fatal stab wound in the abdomen. It was a Grenoble, Grenoble, which used to be a nice city in the mountain. So it's not even a big city of France, like it's a regular small town. Another French town, another story, an old man beating up in the bus by this African guy. After asking to a young person, you see how they call him a young person, you know, Arabs, Africans, never, it will be racist to call them like that, so young people, you know, young people, I call them Mordor people. Orcs from Mordor. This is what I'm talking about. So the old guy tell him like, put your mask because he believe in all this bullshit. And the, the, the orc is like, no, fuck you. I will kick your face. And, and he kicked the old guy. And all of that in a bus. Let's travel to another bus station in Tallinn. We are back in Estonia. We run for European Green Capital 2023 title. So the city is not only safe with a nice population, it's also green and beautiful. Let's go back with the tricky news. Rouen, again a French city, the day after Samuel Paty. Samuel Paty is the teacher victim of decapitation last week. So this time, a killer named Jonathan, 36 mentions in his criminal record. It's like, why is he still outside? This guy attacked a woman with a knife, shouting à la Wagbar. Uh huh. Do you see how they put quote on the name Jonathan? I think it's bullshit. I don't think his name is Jonathan, which is a very French name. I have difficulty to imagine a French man shouting à la Wagbar and killing people with a knife. Let's go back to West Europe. Germany, 60 years old, a soccer coach, as you can guess by the picture. No, you didn't? Look at closely. You see these legs? So muscular, such beautiful legs. So yeah. This is a soccer coach. Maybe not your classical soccer coach, but even better, this represents the future. This is him going to work. And people fucking love it. 21,000 likes. His account is so popular. Look at this. 26,000 likes. And people in the comment are pushing him. They're like, hey, you look amazing and thank you to bring such awareness. How does it work when this guy meets the decapitation team? <laughs> Do they get along? I don't even know if he's waiting for the train or waiting for them. During this time in Serbia, more than a church, new Hagia Sophia is a big deal. Yeah, a big deal because no one is killed inside. Instead of destroying church like it's made in West Europe, in Serbia, they are building them. And it's even used as a symbol of enduring relationship with Russia. Mwah. But not only church. In Serbia, they also build the largest shopping mall of the region in Belgrade. I'm usually not a big fan of shopping malls, but if you fill them with good and nice people, you know, the atmosphere is good. And when I say beautiful people, I did the research. I mean, I know I'm a shitty journalist, but I wrote on Google, Serbian woman, so beautiful. Look at these eyes. All these girls, so fucking perfect, give me a lot of energy, inspiration, shit. <laughs>